So moving on now to lesions up higher. This horse was a two-year-old quarter horse that was sent in for evaluation and treatment of a open, complete community fracture of the lateral splint bone on the right hind limb. The surgery went well, the horse recovered and eventually from surgery. So we did a partial stectomy, removing the bone uh, from a site just above the fracture site. And uh, the horse was healing fine after surgery for a few days. And then at some point we noticed that the wound healing became static and there's a quite good amount of uh, persistent discharge and every uh, band that is changed. So we decided to check for other um, possible abnormalities. We took a radiograph and um, we didn't find anything major or conclusive on the radiograph. So we found some uh, periosteal perforation in the plantar aspect of the bone and we found what seemed to be a small step here. We could not, we didn't know what to make of this. Not, again, nothing conclusive. And luckily, the machine was up and running at that time. And this was the very first horse that we CT in our hospital. Uh, and I'm glad uh, the machine was up and running at that time because that made a big difference on the treatment plan. We found a sequestrum uh, fragment and the axial aspect of that, of that remaining splint bone. And this lesion could not be seen on any of other projections on the radiograph. So uh, we removed that fragment uh, standing and once that fragment was removed and the area was debrided, you can see some gas attenuating uh, areas in here. Um, once the fracture, uh, once that fragment is removed, the horse um, did very well and the wound healed uh, just fine. <clears throat> 